Welcome to Weld Racing Wheels 101. Today what we're going to do is we're going to measure backspace, which is a often asked question of our sales team. How exactly do you measure backspace? What do you measure it from? And of course, backspace is a really important measurement because of the fact that it tells you where the wheel is located under the car. So we're going to use this wheel today. This is a, our new S74 in polish, which has just been released. And uh, we're going to use this wheel as our test subject. So uh, backspace, uh, how do you measure it? Well, let's, let's show you. As you probably guessed, backspace is measured from the back side of the wheel. This right here is the mounting face. In some but not all wheels, you're going to have a torque ring machined into the back of the wheel here. This step is designed to create kind of a crush washer effect or a Belleville spring effect on the back of the wheel that helps it stay tight. Now some wheels will have a five degree taper that you can't see. Some wheels will have a torque ring in them. It really depends on the construction of the wheel. And so you may or may not see that. We're pointing it out today because we're not gonna measure from inside the torque ring, we're going to measure from the mounting surface, so we have to be careful about that. All right, so what do you need to do this? What kind of tools do you need? Well, the tools are pretty straightforward. You have to have a straight edge, something that is straight and true, that you can put on the back of the wheel shell. Now, we are going to measure from the out back lip of the wheel shell right here. We're not going to measure from the, the bead seat, which would be an imaginary line in here. We're going to measure from the actual inner lip. So it's going to be a, an actual measurement, not a calculation. What else do we need? Well, we need something to measure distance. So we can use either a straight edge. This is my preferred version of a, of a ruler to use because we don't have any movement in it. Or you can use a tape measure, which is handy, fits in your pocket, and can't be used. But when it's extended, you've got the ability to have a flex, which makes it a little harder to make accurate measurements. But we're going to do it with both today. Okay, let's set this wheel gently down on its face. Okay, so we have the wheel oriented, how we're going to measure, face down. And we're going to take our straight edge, and we're going to put the straight edge across the lip. Now the lip, is where we're going to measure from. We're not going to measure from the back side of the bead seat here. That's not where you measure your backspace from. You do measure from the outboard most point of the wheel on the back side. And the other thing we're not going to do is get down inside the torque ring here. We're going to stay up on the mounting face. So we get the actual height from the mounting face of the wheel to the back of the wheel. This is a really critical measurement, so we want to do it accurately. The first thing we're going to use is a straight edge. Before we do that, we're going to talk about what you do if your wheel is mounted and you're measuring backspace. And if that's the case, what you have to do is take your straight edge directly to the edge of the mounting face and no further and cut it on the other side so it's exactly the width of the wheel. If you don't do that, the wheel is going to rise up on the bulge of the tire and give you an inaccurate backspace measurement, which you do not want. So we're going to do it the easy way here. It's dismounted, no tire. We can lay our straight edge on almost haphazardly as long as it's across the wheel. We're going to take our, our ruler and we're going to measure. Now one thing to be careful with with the ruler. The ruler, oft times, does not start at the edge of the ruler. It starts inboard of the ruler. So you have to compensate for this when you use a ruler that starts like that. How are we going to do that? Well, we're going to take our trusty tape measure here, and we're going to measure that, and we're going to see how far that is. And uh, that just happens to be 3 16ths of an inch. So we're going to have to add 3 16ths to our final measurement when we're done based on this. So down it goes onto the mounting face. Another thing we're going to do is, is do our very best to make sure that it's 90 degrees with the, with the crossbar, with our straight edge. And we're going to take our measurement and we've got 7 and 3 eighths. 
to that we're going to have to add 3 16 for the, the tip that's not marked. So 7 and 3 8 plus 3 16 is 7 and 9 16. So we now have our backspace. So we've done it with a straight edge and a ruler. Now we're going to do it with a tape. Now the nice thing about a tape measure is tapes are designed to measure from the inner part of this tongue. And so all that you're off is this little bit of thickness here, which is probably not critical. So we're going to just push it down on the end of that. One of the problems with tapes is trying to make sure that it's vertical. And so having it 90 degrees is kind of tough sometimes. We're going to get as close as we can here to 90 degrees, and we're going to measure. And uh, yeah, we're uh, 7 to 9 16, so pretty good. So tape measure, ruler, straight edge, and a wheel, and you've got everything you need to measure the backspace of a wheel. If you have any further questions, take a look at our tech section in our website at www.weldracing.com.